Hey everybody, welcome to TIW Podcast. I'm Eric and today I watched Terminator Dark Fate directed by Tim Miller and starring Linda Hamilton, Arnold Schwarzenegger, Mackenzie Davis, uh, Gabriel Luna, and Natalia Reyes. Um, this, this movie, okay, Terminator Dark Fate is Terminator Dark Great. Uh, if you're a fan of Terminator 2, which I have to assume anybody who has seen Terminator 2 is a fan of that film, y- y- there's a good chance you're going to enjoy this film. It is, I, I I think it's just awesome. I loved every minute of it. I was just enjoying it. I was smiling. I was like, I was just delighted that this movie exists because it's so freaking good. Um, like, oh man. I mean, I did. I enjoyed Genesis. I gave it a chance. I did enjoy it. Uh, I enjoy. I. It's been a while since I've seen Terminator Three. I thought Terminator Salvation was pretty was was pretty good, but this just blows everything out of the water. It's like if this was the actual movie that they made instead of Terminator Three, uh, man, we have been off to such a different path. It would have been an entirely different timeline, entirely different fate uh at this point but we are here now it's never too late to make your own fate and <laughs> or something I, there, lots of rhyming uh, with fate all around but um i don't want to spoil anything that happens in the film i mean a lot of it uh if you've seen the trailers like a lot of the big action moments are in there and those are it, this this film has so much action like the first I feel like the first like 10 minutes of the film has as much action as the entire in the entirety of Terminator 2. It like has all of the sequences from Terminator 2 in those first like 10 minutes and <laughs> it's is pretty awesome. Um <clears throat> but that's that's really all I want to say in this review, in this non-spoiler review, I'm definitely going to see this again in the theater. I saw it on IMAX. Um, I was not at all like cognizant of when the full frame and all of that was happening. I like didn't even think about it. I was just so like I I was just so engulfed in the action and the story and all of that is it, it was great. Um, man, I can't. I can't even think of anything that I didn't that I didn't like about this film. Um, so go check it out. Let me know what you thought about it. I will do a spoiler um, episode uh, once I've seen it again, um, and maybe I'll take a notepad and take some notes while I, while I'm watching it um, the next time around, so that I could have to talk about specific things, specific lines that I really liked. Um, and man, it's just so good. I'm I'm. I, I got back home from seeing it like three hours ago and I'm still really excited about having seen it. Um, so yeah, if, if, if you like Terminator two as, as much as I do, I think you're going to love this movie or maybe you'll hate, it. I don't know. I don't know. I, I loved it. So there, there you go. Um, there's something else I wanted to mention in this very brief, quick episode. And I think it was, Oh, I was going to talk about Crown Jewel real quick. I didn't watch the whole thing. I saw some highlights. Um, I did watch the women's match. That was really cool. Uh, the uh, All the moments after the conclusion of the match were really nice. You could tell how much it meant to a lot of people uh, there in attendance. And I'm sure to it meant a lot to a lot of people watching the broadcast and elsewhere in the arena that you couldn't see on screen. Um, so that was cool. Um, I did watch the main event. So spoilers now for crown jewel main event. The only title change that took place was in that main event event with Bray Wyatt, the fiend defeating Seth Rollins. And, uh, if that ending had happened at hell in a cell, I think a lot of us would be, uh, would be in a lot of a, a different mood about everything right in the last like four weeks, any like in general, but it's, um, yeah, I I like I liked I I enjoyed that match and I really liked the ending, and uh, then I also saw the ending of Cesaro versus Mansoor, and that ending was really cool. The because he was, he had him up in a gut wrench suplex off of the 
um, turn off of the post and the turnbuckle in the corner. And then Mansoor countered that into a power bomb and then hit his uh, moonsault, which I think should be called a Mansoor salt. I don't, I don't know. Maybe, maybe it already is. I don't know. But uh, he got the win over Cesaro, um, which, you know, I, I'm okay with. I didn't see the full match. I heard that the match in general was really good, but I thought that ending was really great. Getting that counter in there, it was like, it was so out of nowhere. It was, it was great. Um, so yeah, that's the only three matches that I watched is from Crown Jewel, and that's probably the only three that I will watch. Um, I didn't see, I might go back and watch the AJ Styles match. I might do that, but, um, yeah, that's it. Uh, oh, I heard the tag team, the, the Hogan versus Flair, that big match. I heard that was pretty good too, but, um, anyway, go watch Terminator Dark Fate. I did not spoil anything. I hope not. I, I don't think I did. I did spoil crown jewel whatever um so let me know what you thought about both of those things by tweeting me at tiw podcast go to tiwpodcast.com for more reviews if you enjoyed this episode or anything else on the site please share some links with your friends subscribe on itunes spotify stitcher youtube wherever you like to listen and stay safe out there and all the multiple the, the all of the infinite multiverses especially the ones where skynet doesn't exist but then legion exists instead um oh crap that is a spoiler kind of yes no it's it's not really it's no it's kind of a spoiler um see you next time here on tiw podcast bye